Hey everybody, this is Kim again, the maker of Playground Pastime and your AI entrepreneur. So I wanna give you my first behind the scenes. Um, this was my first AI, um, uh, AI creation where I animated uh, my images. This is when I began to move away from creating images that look like portraits and, you know, look like paintings and traditional art and move towards the uh, images that look like real people. But for me, with a slight twist, I was up all hours of the night just fascinated with what I was coming up with. So sit back and I'm gonna take you behind the scenes. This one was, I called it couples drink. All right, here we go. So there was another creator. Um, and if you're on Instagram, sprinkle of AI, look up sprinkle of AI and check out her work. It is phenomenal, but she also has guides. So that's what I'll tell you a good, a, you know, a one secret to creating and, and, coming up with your own style and creating beautiful images is to try out some of the prompts of other AI creators out there that have um, guides that you can download. You know, you just have to give them your email address and you download the guides, it's worth it. These first sets of images that I started creating, which kicked off the madness of playground pastime, um, were done based on prompts that I got from Sprinkle of AI, from that AI creator. Now, surprisingly, I did pretty good um, with the prompt that was given. And, you know, of course I added, you know, some things in. Um, at the time, I really had no idea what I was doing. I was really just experimenting. And what I quickly learned was that you can get some really beautiful images with some really interesting flaws. And it just all depends on, you know, what you were looking for and if you're gonna animate it, whether or not you could hide that flaw. Of course, I didn't really know at that time, you know, just what all the possibilities, you know, just all the possibilities of what I could do. But I did learn just from using um, the prompts from that guide that, you know, one little word or one description in that prompt could change the image of that you're creating. Okay, so where did I get the idea or what made me animate um, these images right out the gate? So I don't really recall how I was introduced to Runway, um, but I just know that I was. I was introduced to Runway. And if you notice in the actual videos, they still have the watermark on the side because I still wasn't sold on whether or not I wanted to keep Runway. Um, but as you can see, I got some really good video, you know, out of Runway. Uh, Runway is a uh, animator for um, AI, you can do text to video, you can do video to video. It's a really great, um, you know, video animator. Um, at that time, I didn't know about Pika. I don't even know if Pika was a thing at that time, but I tried it, didn't really like it. Um, so I just, you know, basically stick with runway. But anyway, as you can see here, I got some very interesting results. Now what you're seeing are some uncut uh, video um, that I used to make the reels that I made with this first try. And with Runway, your uh, videos, they, uh, they're four seconds. So you drop in your AI image, Runway will make a four second video. I was able to kind of edit those videos down to maybe two seconds or, you know, three seconds. Um, you know, cause they would get a bit wild after a while, but it worked. It looked good. It was something I had never seen before and I was hooked. So if you'd like to see the final version of couples drink, um, you can go over to my playground pastime uh, profile on Instagram and I'll drop the date down here on the screen um, when that video was posted. 
Um, and again, this was my very first reel with um, animated AI images. And oh my God, I fell in love after that. So go over to my IG and take a look at the finished product. And don't forget to like this video, follow me for more. I'm gonna do a behind the scenes of all of my reels, some that you all really love. And I'm, I wanna thank you for your support and enjoy the reels.